Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Coins, Rolls, and Varieties. JW here. Today we'll be uh, working on um, episode two of uh, this next nickel box. Um, so the first one, first ten rolls, we found a uh, buffalo nickel and about what is that? Six pre uh, pre sixty, and then one um, one foreign. So we're just going to jump right on in and start splitting some rolls and see what's inside. I think I'm going to uh, try to split just ten. And then I'll go through them and then we'll we'll review it together. So I'm gonna split ten, lay them out in front of you guys, just to see if we can find some silver together. And if not, then I'll pause the video and go through them separately. So I'm gonna go pull out the darker ones and see if they are silver. No, that is not. And uh, that is not. All right. Get into roll number two. Oh, we got another foreign right on top. Looks like a Canadian. Hopefully everybody's having a great day. And I wanted to just thank everybody who's supporting me uh, this far. I appreciate it. <clears throat> I really, really do. All right, roll number two. Ooh, that could be a buffalo, and it's not. All right. No silver. Roll number three. We'll get a look at that uh, Canadian once we get through them. Uh, can it, uh, I don't know much about Canadian, so I don't know which ones to be looking for for those. <clears throat> All right, roll number three. Let's see what we have here. Possibly, no. No silver and roll three. Just gonna lay them out like that. Roll four. And again, I'm not seeing any uh, darker, darker coins here. That's just an 80s. All right, roll number five. Just want to, I want you guys just to see as much as possible without taking up as much time. Let's see, get it away. Silver. Nope. The 70s. What's this one. Nope. Looks like that's been run over a hundred times. And I'm gonna go ahead and call that a nope. But if I miss one, we will review it. Six. Let's see. Sixty-nine. It's not old enough. And I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, no silver in this one either. Roll number seven. All right. Nope. <clears throat> Roll number eight. Get these out of the way. And I'm not seeing any, but if I miss one, we will uh, go through it. Roll number nine. Hopefully it's, uh, you guys can see this roll here. And just by looking at the edges, I'm not seeing any. Oh, lost my screwdriver. And roll 10. And just by looking at the edge there, I'm not seeing any silver either. All right, that's 10 rolls. I'm not seeing any silver that's obvious, so I'm going to go ahead and go through them, and then uh, I'm going to pause it, go through them, pick out what we want to pick out, and then we'll review it together that way. Give me one second. All right, and these uh, 10 rolls, we I found a very nice looking 62. It's uh, near mint state. Um, what is this? Uh, we found 722s. Got a stack of 64s here to look through um, for varieties. 
a decent pile of uh, Philadelphias. Um, then I'm gonna, you know, look in the, uh, the on the reverses of those for uh, any any kind of a variety. Got um, three bisons to look for the uh, speared buffalo and a 2004 uh, Philadelphia peace nipple to look for the double diverse 101. Um, uh, five three sixties. And uh, two of those um, are known to have a D over S um, variety, so I'll be looking for that. And uh, we got a dime, a 2002 Denver dime. I can't believe I didn't see that when we were splitting the rolls, which is good because um, we got another uh, uh, another foreign here from Mexico, and then um, a Canadian five. So I thought I was out a total of. 15 cents there, but then I got this uh, this dime, so that makes it makes up for it, you know. So now I'm only down five cents out of this box so far. All right, so I'm gonna pause it again. I'm gonna look through the look at these for varieties, and then we'll get some close-ups, and maybe even if we find a decent variety, we can look at it in the uh, microscope. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at what we found. So here's the uh, the 62, decent looking coin for a 62. So see uh, some luster on there, quite a bit actually. Almost looks like it may have been wiped uh, a little bit. Um, I'll have to look at the averse of that for hairlines. So if those are hairlines on the averse, um, I don't I don't think it was a cleaning, but it would it would definitely earn it uh, AU. We get an AU grade if those are indeed hairlines. Um, here are the uh, the pre-60s. Uh, let's see, let's put it, let's do one at a time here. So first we have the, uh, the 57, looking pretty beat up. This is uh, probably VF details. Uh, second one, the 54. This would be probably around a fine, fine to uh, very fine details. When I said a couple of uh, D over S, I you know, <clears throat> this was one of the ones I was referring to, but it, it's actually the uh, the fifty four S over D that you're looking for here. So I was uh, I was mistaken on this one. All right, so that's the uh, the fifty four, and uh, here's the uh, D over S I was hoping to find. Is the uh, the fifty five. Decent looking coin, a little bit, some darker areas on the uh, profile, but it doesn't look like it's due to cleaning. Also, uh, I would say VF on this one, and it unfortunately is not a uh, D over S variety or any variety at all. Yeah, 41. Looking uh, around fine to very good. And then um, a 40. So we've got quite a few of these already, the uh, 40s and 41s from the last box into this one. There are varieties known for the uh, 41 and 40s, but I don't see any on either one of these. They're just too circulated. They could have been uh, double dies or whatnot, but they're just too, too worn to tell. This one I would probably give it a fine too. Very good to find. And then this uh, 2019 Philadelphia, this one is indeed a uh, double die reverse in that doorway. So uh, we'll throw this under the microscope and see if we can uh, see that together. So give me uh, one second. All right, here we go. Let's uh, go ahead and take a look at this uh, this DDR, as you can see in the, uh, the doorway right here. Uh, right right at the top of the uh, the doorway. You can see that that little bit of a line right there. That is the uh the doubling on this uh variety right here. Fortunately, it's it's a little beat up, but um <clears throat> I'll have to take a look and see what uh what designation it, what designation it is and if possibly it is a uh, you know, a rare one or not. Um but that is a that is a, a double die reverse. So we did find a double die reverse in this box and uh we got Five more pre-60s and a nice looking 62 and we did get a dime so um not too bad for the uh these these next 10 rolls um 
So, uh, again, doubling right here in this doorway. So uh, that's it for the today's box. I mean, today's hunt. Uh, don't don't forget to like and subscribe if you feel that I've earned it, and uh, join me for the next one. Have a great day.